Platelet-rich plasma injections are performed to try to enhance healing or optimize healing in various parts of the body. The platelets are a component of our blood that have a very large amount of healing factors and growth factors. When someone is injured, that injury site recruits a large amount of platelets to try to help with the healing process. The rationale behind platelet-rich plasma injections for tendon-type injuries is to try to harness the potential of these platelets and their very powerful growth factors to try to stimulate healing. There are many potential uses for platelet-rich plasma in orthopedics. This video depicts the use of platelet-rich plasma injection for a chronic tennis elbow. The first thing we're going to do is prepare the area that we're going to be placing the injection in into the common extensor tendon. There's a little bit of alcohol and this is some ethyl chloride to numb the skin and I'm numbing it in preparation for an injection of lidocaine which is a local anesthetic into the area. You'll see we'll make a little bubble there and what that's going to do is make that area numb when we do the injection later. Then we're going to draw the blood from the right arm. This is a proprietary double barrel syringe and what we're doing is we're going we're drawing about 10 to 15 cc's of the patient's blood. We will then take that blood and place it into the centrifuge. Now one of the four cylinders has a counterbalance and we're going to place the blood in the cylinder opposite the counterbalance. If we wanted to we could do two of these syringes at once. Now we'll close the lid of the centrifuge and get it started and spinning for five minutes. What this will do is it will layer out the plasma layer that has the platelets in it. And once this five minutes is completed, which it has completed, you will see how they are layered out. The yellowish layer at the top is the platelet layer. That's the plasma. Now through the inner syringe, we will draw up the yellow platelet layer so that they are separated from the regular blood. Once we have that separated, we can then inject the platelets into the patient's problem site. We will sterilely prepare the area and then inject the platelets into the area of the common extensor tendon where there's pain and diseased tissue. Once again, the purpose being to optimize the chances of getting these areas to heal properly.